Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for January 2020 for the sign of Leo. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Leo for the month of January? What do we got for Leo? Ooh, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups reverse. Probably this is thinking about going back or thinking about leaving something. Um, so, or somebody may be wanting to come back, or you're wanting somebody to come back, or something like that. Knight of Cups. Oh, the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is a card of isolation, it's a card of needing to withdraw. Maybe somebody is thinking about withdrawing because this is a card of withdrawal, rest, recuperation, recovery. The Knight of Cups is emotional support. It's also an offer of love. You could be getting an offer of love from somebody, but this is a need to take a break. The Four of Swords is take a break. Six of Wands. Now that is being recognized. Okay, so somebody is recognizing you this month. You're being recognized for something. This is liberation, freedom, okay? The Ten of Swords. So you are, this is breaking free from something that was killing you or holding you down. It's like taking the swords out of your back. You you may be, you're dead, this is recovery. Both of these cards. Making progress in recovering. So you may be going through some sort of recovery right now. Now, the Knight of Wands reversed, and it's right below the Knight of Cups. Now, this is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. This is somebody that is overly competitive and is reckless and moves too fast. This is a show-off, a troublemaker. So, somebody that um, doesn't want responsibility. You may be dealing with this person, or it could be you. This is... Uh, this could be a sudden departure of some sort. Hmm. But this is, an, this is a emotional support, an offer of love. Let's clarify that Eight of Cups. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yikes. So the tower, this is a sudden, this is a shock, a shock to a foundation. So you may be, you may have experienced a shock or you may be experiencing a shock. Now, the tower is destruction, okay? It's a shocking life change. There could, I don't know if there's been some sort of accident or there's, there's, there is going to be one. This is a necessary evil. It's where the universe comes in to clean out something. It's like, it, it just uh, breaks things up in a hurry. Somebody may it almost, and this is a sudden departure, so I'm not sure if you're experiencing that in January or December or you have experienced it recently, but this is, is major life disruption and destruction, okay? You may be experiencing an, an, an internal disruption within yourself, but the Eight of Cups reversed, that is a... Uh, Wish probably wishing you could go back or wanting to go back or something like that. Karma. Leo, are you dealing with some karma? Are you getting some karma? I mean, that's karma right there. This is judgment. It's a judgment card. This is this is a, a judgment being made and karma is involved. Okay? So somebody is going to be experiencing some sort of upheaval, a sudden life change that is, is being given to them because of some sort of karmic debt that needs to be paid. So this is absolutely karma. Um, judgment is a wake-up call. Okay, there's a release here. There is some sort of release. It's like the universe is, is purging something from your life. It's like something is being taken out of your life. And it's like ab abruptly. This is very abrupt. Okay, and it's going to cause you, I think it is going to cause some internal disruption. It's going it's, to, it's like you may be wanting this person to come back. Somebody's leaving by the looks of things. 
This is liberation, freedom from a dead end situation anyway, because this is a dead end, the Four of Swords. This is the death of an idea or a person. The Knight of, of Wands reversed is somebody that causes trouble, moves too fast, acts recklessly. And it's almost like there's an accident of some sort. It's like they something happens, you know, they weren't thinking, they weren't thinking at all. They should have moved a little bit slower, they should have been more practical. Interesting. Oh, but somebody here is getting an opportunity for love, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is an uh, abundance of love, the Ace of Cups, big love. Um, so something is being cleaned out so that you can start fresh. You have a fresh start here. You can, it's like leaving all the baggage in the rubble behind this, this, when this tower crumbles, there's nothing left. There's nothing left but rubble. You, the only thing you can do now is rebuild. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be, uh, going someplace else. You may be moving because something is definitely, it's like something is crumbling and it's, it's going to crumble really, really, really fast. Um, somebody's definitely going to get a wake up call. It's a big one and it's going to give them an exciting opportunity to, to fly. It's time to fly. It's, it's time to, uh, take a new adventure. This is an exciting opportunity to start fresh, to start from zero. So you may be starting over. You you may be getting an offer from somebody that wants to, this is a new beginning. Okay. So letting this go. I'm not, well, you don't have a choice. This is universal. Okay. This is, this is like a power higher than yourself that is causing a disruption in your life, whether you like it or not, that is giving you an opportunity to start fresh. Okay. To leave all the baggage behind. So this is definitely a new beginning here. There's a new beginning in love. There's an opportunity for big love. You're going to be receiving a, it looks like it's a beautiful opportunity to start fresh. Okay. This is a new love, a new opportunity. But this is, this is freedom. This is liberation from something that was painful and it's something that was killing you, something that was causing a lot of exhaustion in your life, something that was keeping you down, something that really hurt you. So I think that you've been in a painful situation, but this is breaking free from it because you have a big opportunity for love here. This is big. Okay. This is a new start in love. Somebody is recognizing you. Somebody is watching you. It feels like somebody's very interested in you. You're going to be making a choice of some sort. There are definitely those powers that like it's universal. Something is is causing upheaval and chaos in your life, and it's because you have to you have to stop juggling. You need to stop playing games. You need to get stable. You need to get secure. You need to be practical. You're probably needing to find some balance in your life. And it's like you're trying to do too much. I do see that as well. We do have a major life change here. Something is happening. And it's going to get... There's like chaos. There's definitely some sort of chaos here. This is uh, give and take. So something maybe get taken from one and given to another. Somebody is going to be receiving a gift, something big, and it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's love, and, they're, and it's stable, and it's solid, and secure. So somebody is going to be receiving something from somebody, and it's going to make them very, very, very happy because this is happiness. It really is. So somebody is going to be receiving something that makes them very, very, very happy. If this is monetary, it could definitely be money. It could be a bonus. It could be a raise, something like that. This is, but the four of swords is a card of isolation and exhaustion and sickness. May have something to do with a child. 
okay, because this is a child, or this is a need to have fun, a need to be more playful. Somebody may have had their heart set on somebody that was emotionally unavailable, and this is unrequited love. It's not love, but there's another opportunity for love here. There's a big, huge opportunity for love, and somebody has been in a situation where there's a lack of reciprocation, and it's like now they're going to get what they deserve. They're going to get the love that they deserve, that they need. So somebody is getting an offer of love, whether it's you or somebody that you are dealing with that is in your life that is very close to you. It's like it's about love and somebody is going to get the love that they deserve. Somehow you are involved. Somebody may, be, be, been, may have been thinking. They've been thinking about leaving or thinking about going someplace else. And I feel like, I feel like there's some sort of universal change that happens that makes the choice. Okay. There could be a reconciliation here of some sort. Two people could be that they ha that have known each other before could be coming together. And when I say reconciliation, they, this may be somebody that you met in a past life. It doesn't mean that you met them in this one. I do see a fresh start here. I think that we have somebody here that um, is about ready to. Uh, go someplace else and it looks like they're going by themselves it's like the dog doesn't even want to be involved here it's like you're going by yourself completely by yourself not even taking the dog you nobody it's like i'm it's over whatever this is i'm going by myself now this judgment is a judgment call so there could be some legal implications here there could be a judge that is making the call just saying i'm not sure what's going on but that is the judgment card this is a card of karma somebody is receiving some sort of karmic uh release by the looks of things they are being released from something whether they like it or not it's going to be painful because when the tower when a tower card comes out it's not easy this is a life change that is not easy you hit the ground you do hit the ground so somebody hits the ground because karma is doing something right it's it's paying somebody what they deserve okay it's giving somebody what they deserve somebody is hitting the ground and they're going their own way by themselves whether they like it or not so we do have a fresh start here a new beginning but it's it's totally on your own but we do have this 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 could be self-love okay this is relocation somebody's going to be relocating whether it's you or your child or somebody that you're dealing with some it's like this is over the seat the season is over there's no more growth somebody's definitely been thinking and thinking and thinking is it, it should it should i stay here or should i not that's very clear i think it's, it's definitely the time is up it's time to go someplace else uh somebody has been clinging to control uh stopping things from changing resisting change This is bad luck and this is bad karma. So we may be having somebody that is receiving some bad karma for being acting impulsively, being overly competitive, having a chip on their shoulder, uh, being boastful. Okay, because if you take a look at this right here, right here and right here. So somebody is getting exactly what they deserve and somebody's getting bad luck. They're getting bad karma. They're going backwards. They are backwards, backwards. Somebody is going backwards because... You know, karma is what it is. We all know what it is. I'm not going to get into it. But so this person right here is reckless and this is reckless energy as well. So somebody's reckless attitude or reckless behavior is like is is bringing them backwards. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is really, really stuck and they need to break free because we have break free right here. It's like you got to break free. And you're going to be broken free from it because the universe is here. This is a universe card. Somebody is going to be experiencing some upheaval because they've been playing games. They've been resisting change. They've been trying to compete. This is a very overly competitive individual. And their overly competitive nature is going to get them in trouble. It's going to bring them bad luck and bad karma. Trust me, that is what's going to happen. So the page of cups reverse, this is a lack of emotion or somebody that there's going to be, there could be some tears that are shed, but we do have a, 
This is this is somebody that is very caring, very kind. This is somebody that is very gentle and compassionate. This person may it looks like this person is bringing because this is this is the Ace of Cups, which is a healing love to this person that is dying inside. This person could be dying inside. You know, could be ill, could be sick. Somebody is getting caught, getting caught in a lie, getting caught deceiving. What they thought they were getting away with, they are not going to get away with it. They are not. Things are going to come to a complete stop, okay? Whoever has been lying and deceiving and cheating and stealing and robbing and whatever they've been doing, they're definitely going to get caught and things are going to come to a halt. This is stop in communication. It's like no contact. Somebody's going to be broken hearted. This is a broken heart. This is heartache, grief, suffering, pain, rejection. This is a painful separation right here when you get the Three of Swords. So somebody is going to be going through a painful separation that is heartbreaking. But, and, and I'm not trying to hurt anybody, but they've been clinging to something that wasn't meant to be. Trying to prove something that what there's no proof. You know, it's like trying to prove something and now it's like karma is taking over. The judgment card. There's going to be a judgment made. A secret is about to be revealed with the judgment and the seven of swords. And it's going to hurt. It is. And I said it before this card came out. This is painful. I know that it is. We have a painful separation here. But it leads somebody down a new path by themselves where they can start fresh. Start with a clean slate. Starting over. So we do have somebody here that is starting from scratch. This is your clean slate right here. So this is this is your blank page starting absolutely from zero by yourself. It's time to rebuild yourself up from the ground up. It's like ground ground zero. Okay? And if you think about think about ground zero, okay? We all know what ground zero is. It's time to rebuild. I mean ground zero, this is major disruption. So be prepared for uh, a need to rebuild and start over from scratch. This gives you an opportunity to leave all the baggage behind. So we do have a new beginning here. We absolutely do. But we have somebody here that is refusing to see it as that. This is discontent. I don't want to see it. I don't want to believe it. I don't, I, you know, I'm in my own mind. I, I got my heart set on something that isn't available. So we have somebody here that is very stubborn and it's like they're, they're missing it. They're missing the fact that there is another opportunity for love. There is. There is. This is the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. This is a wake-up call. Somebody is about to get a wake-up call. There's a big opportunity for love here. But before it comes in, there's going to be a major disruption that changes your life. Somebody's moving. They're relocating. There's no more thinking about it. It's like the decision is made. Karma is paying somebody a visit. A secret is about to be revealed that's been hidden. Somebody is getting caught. Their lies are coming out. They're being exposed. And things are going to come to a complete halt instantly. This, this this could be somebody in protection. This could be a rescuer. This could be a hero that is arriving to save the day, to take you away. This is a change. 
There's powers higher than this earthly realm that are involved here. Mending. Oh, that makes sense. So somebody is going to be mending and that's mending this broken heart. So yeah, we do have somebody here that is going to be working on healing. They are going to need time to heal. They're going to need time to patch things up within themselves. Um, it's a time to uh, rebuild. Okay? So I make sure you guys can see that because the last one, it won't, will not seem to focus with this light. I don't know if I can get it to. There you go. So anyway, there is some sort of truth that is coming out that is going to cause a, this is the truth, cause a major disruption in somebody's life. It's going to cause a lot of upheaval. It's going to be a shock, okay? And it, it's, it's, it is based from karma, okay? Whatever is happening is karmic. Somebody's going to get pay a karmic price for their impulsive actions, their recklessness, and they're going to be broken free. This is freedom. So this is freedom. So this is free to do and go wherever you please. Good luck. So January is a big month of universal change. Be prepared to feel maybe some internal disruption because change isn't easy. And I think whatever is going to happen is going to be very, very sudden, and it's going to be very shocking. It is. And I think there is going to be tears. But it's going to give you the opportunity to uh, start over someplace else with, with a clean slate. It's going to give you the power to rebuild better next time. Good luck.